Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Life is Strange 2. Here we are on some Upon chapter time, 5. In a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home there with their papa wolf. They lived in peace until hunters took their dad away. <coughs> wolf brothers people were being loud outside. Days, nights, learning how to live on their own first time. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. They decided to head south to the distant land of their ancestors. But the journey was long and dangerous. Still, the wolf brothers made new friends on the way. They learned more about the world. But danger seemed to always follow them after a bad accident. They were separated. The big brother had been hurt, and the hunters finally captured him. They put him in a cage. But when he finally escaped, he went to search for his little brother. Mm. He soon found out that the little wolf had joined a coyote cult, and he would not leave them. Suddenly, their mother showed up. After all that time, she said she came to help rescue him. They begged the coyote leader, but she would not release the little wolf. He was their idol. So they had to knock her out to escape. <laughs> I'm guessing that would change depending on where not you killed her. <laughs> Followed their rogue mother far into the desert to her hideaway. Gotta say, a wolf wearing an eye patch, it's pretty edgy, but kind of badass, too, I gotta say. Ugh. Yeah, so, yeah, all that happened. Yeah, also, again, hello, yeah. <clears throat> Still sick, but gonna try and make it through, because we got this. Arizona, seven weeks after events of Haven Point. Okay, so, it does math, that's like two months. Well, a little under two months. Scorpion. Hmm. Up here we are. With our <laughs> nice little eye patch there. Oh, we got him back. Our boy's back. Oh, he has a scarf still. Hey. He's not. He does Are not have sure? the bull cut. Luckily. Dude, come on. What? Oh, what got is it? kind of a four o'clock shadow. Is that what it's yeah. called? It's There's some so stubble. Beautiful. It's pretty solid. Check it out. <clears throat> Do we just sleep like right beside the edge of a cliff? It's kind of scary. <laughs> oh, we have a scarf too. <laughs> so? Yeah, okay. Good call. <sighs> wow. <sighs> That's amazing. I would not want to be up there. Is your eye okay? Yeah. It just itches. Mm. It's okay, Nana. I... Promise. Yeah. Uh, okay. Aww. It's okay, he didn't mean to. You. No matter what happens, you hear me? Yeah. I love you too. Ugh. 
What a great way to open the chapter. <laughs> so where's Karen then? Diaz brothers. Always. Or do we just decide to like camp out somewhere? So are you still having those bad dreams? Shoot. You know, about Lisbeth. Mm. Yeah. Sometimes I feel like she's around, coming after me. It's scary. Oof. She's lucky you didn't go after her. Mm. Yeah, but she's still out there. Somewhere. Yeah. Creeps Probably me picked out. up some PTSD from that or something. Listen, we're far away from her, okay? We're together again. Safe. Hope so. Sean, are we criminals now? I mean... Um... Well, okay. The way I've been playing the game, I have not really done anything wrong. I've done some things. I I wouldn't criminal would a criminal you could call someone a criminal if they had committed some larger offenses. I don't think we've committed any like really large offenses. I mean, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I'm just thinking because like the first two chapters we didn't do anything. I mean, Daniel did something, but we can just say Oop, accident, gas leak, blah blah blah. Um, trying to think. I mean, not really, yeah, because, well, I mean, oh, we did commit arson. Well, no, that was accidental arson. <laughs> we literally just, I'm just trying to justify everything. No. No way. We did exactly what we had to. Uh, I don't like that phrasing. If the cops catch us. Will be judged for what we did. That's for sure. Yeah. I know. Well, we're almost at the border. Finally. I like it here, but we'll have to leave soon. I know. I'm sorry, you know. Sean, I know it's been a long time. Can you tell me the rest of? The wolf story? Mm. Oh. Yeah. I can tell you. <sighs> Never too long for a wolf story. Off. Way too long. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, thanks to their mama wolf, the wolf brothers barely escaped from the coyote cult. She led them to her secret lair, deep in the Red Desert. The Wolf Brothers rested for a while, but at some point, they'd have to continue their journey south. They were closer than ever to their father's land, but between them and their destination, lies A mighty fire unicorn. <laughs> but she's nice, so they become friends. <laughs> okay. Um, excuse me. Who's telling the story? You are. But it's my story too. Right? I mean, it's not wrong. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Okay, then. Hmm. So what happens next? Uh, they, they arrive in Mexico. But the country is rampaged by goblins. Together. The wolves and the unicorn managed to slay them and become heroes. The police forgives them, and all their friends come to Mexico to celebrate. <laughs> yeah. Sounds pretty good, and I know. <laughs> Let's pack this shit up and head back to town. 
Gotta clean up our stuff before we leave. And this place is too pretty. Okay, look in the bag. Let's see here. Oh, let's look in our journal as well. Wait, let's see. Oh yeah, the walkie-talkie. Let's see. Nope. Nope. Journal. There we go. Nope. Nope. Come on. Here we go. Yeah, so this is this stuff. We got Daniel, finally. The freak guru can go to hell now. Feels so good to be with my bro again. <clears throat> Leaving Haven Point, Karen is taking us to her place. We need to breathe, sleep, heal. Karen lives in a desert commune, no shit. Unincorporated community, she said. It's called Away. Huh. Just, oh, I love the goggles. Only 30 people live... Pff, I, can't, I can't read this already. Live here on and off. This place is so weird, but the desert is mind-blowing. The perfect hideaway. David still... F wait. Huh? Oh, Daniel! I just read this, dude. Daniel's still feeling so confused. Guilt-tripping a lot. He can't figure out what happened. The brainwashing, the trauma, lies. Elizabeth's grasp over his trauma. Doing my best to help him recover. Karen is a big help, too. She's good with words. That letter from Jacob and Sarah made him feel happy. Daniel needs more friends, so do I. Okay. Um, total trip to live. Wait, what? Total trip? What? Oh, total trip to live with. Oh, like, okay, I see. I see. She wants to move on. That's easy for her to say. I'm trying. Daniel's getting better. I can see he loves having mommy back. <laughs> That's fair. Neil's power is no secret here. No one gives a shit. They just go along with it and don't see it as something they can use to their own advantage. Refreshing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, after the whole Finn situation, that makes sense. You could tell. We're already the batshit crazy sand people. <laughs> Wait. Oh, that says David. <clears throat> Interesting. Hmm. So this place... <clears throat> oh, wait, is what you make it. Oh my gosh, my throat. Join... Haunts it with cool ass sculptures made from scavenged scraps. She's a cool and what? She's a cool and sunny woman. Karen's closest thing to a best friend, it seems. Cool as heck. Or ornamental tattoos. Take my time today. Okay. Arthur and Stanley live in one of the only proper houses in town. They built it together. Uh. Ten years ago. I'm like, that does not look like a one. Ten years ago. Ruins of their past lives. So you can't stop leaving each other. They're so inspiring. Old couple young love. Aww. Little gay couple. Got a letter from Cass today. Feels good. Would love to hang out with her again someday. I want to see what that letter is. This place makes me want to draw. Could stare, could stare at these canyons forever. <laughs> he only needs to vent out. He's been having nightmares about Avon <clears throat> Point and Elizabeth for weeks. Still feels guilty about my I need to find ways to process this. Darren told us about a cool camping spot. Pr ranched, ran? Reached the top after a long hike across the canyon. Track sessions feel like forever ago. Need to work on my cardio. Don't fall, mate. Ursa VG. Oh, yeah. Stargaze at Arthur's telescope. That's cool. That's a lot, though. Um, let's see. Every star looked the same until we used Karen's old guidebook. Yeah. I already read that. You know, it's draw. Ooh, sketching time. Good idea. Okay. I'm glad you can. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Me too, Daniel. But if I can see it in my mind, I can still sketch anything. True. Almost. We'll see about that. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Smart ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, very detailed. Okay. Hey, 
Can you draw me as a superhero? Like, striking a pose over the cannon. Hmm. Chilled. Let's go badass. My back hurts a little. I'm glad we're sleeping in our bed tonight. Oh, hell yeah. Tada. Finished. Let me check it out. Jeez. Do I really look that evil? Uh oh. <laughs> he looks more like a super villain. He just has a cool costume. Just because you have a cool costume doesn't mean you're the villain. Oh, pfft. Did I just like phase with the ground for a second or something? Okay. Uh. so incredible to see all those stars and planets up close. Mm. It's like we're right there. Mm. <coughs> I hope we can go watch the stars again. Mom said there's a moon eclipse coming up soon. <laughs> I'm in. Huh. This place is cool. I could just move here. All right, all right. Hey, I can help. Just tell me what you want to put in there. I swear Dad had that same book in the garage. Yeah, I think he did. <laughs> Why did he never show it to us? Maybe it reminded him of mom too much. Could be. Oh. Yeah. Right. Okay. The container. Let's go to sodas. Sure. Yo, Captain Can, can you take these away? Sure. Perfect formation. Nice. Let's clean up this mess. Not if it cleans up by itself. <laughs> Stop. Daniel. Can't catch it, huh? No shit. Now cut it out. Jeez. Mm -hmm. You're no fun. Been a bit harsh. We're just we're just chilling out here. So cool. I love tie dye and stuff now. <laughs> Activate. Yeah, cleaning your room got a whole lot more fun. Of course not. On the way. Well, let's hit the trail, cowboy. Gotta hightail it back to the way. Huh. What are you doing? What the fuck, dude? Don't do that. What's wrong? Stop messing with it, man. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, it's kinda Sorry. it's kinda screwed up. Don't get eaten by eagles. Do eagles eat scorpions? No idea. <laughs> Cool. Let's go. He did sound a little angry with that, but it's we probably don't want him to just be messing with like nature like that, you know? Just animals, living stars. creatures. Or any. <laughs> hey, we saw the Milky Way, dude. How cool is that? Yeah, that's true. And Mars. That was so cool, Arthur and Stanley let us use the telescope. Yeah, these guys are real cool. Weed? Amazing that anything can grow out here. Does it ever rain in the desert? Well, oh, uh, good question. It can, it's just very low Didn't precipitation. Can help her with a sculpture when we get back? Because yeah. technically, like a desert magic. is classified as a place that has very low precipitation. So there. technically, the largest um, desert yeah. there is is Karen's Antarctica. Right. They're all cool with it. It's my little fun fact Mom of the day. Doesn't say much about my power. Why do you think? <laughs> uh, yeah, she doesn't care. Maybe she just doesn't care. You think? Oh, here. Karen, hey, need help getting down? Dude. I got this. Uh, see? 
Whoa, so independent. Until you fall on your ass. Yeah, but I didn't. Okay, we're gonna continue the conversation though. Nope. <laughs> oh shit. Ooh, look, look. Looks like a job for our local super psychic boy. Yeah. And you scared it. I know. Hmm. So, maybe you can help us get out of here? Mm, I'll try. Step back. Be Just don't bring down the whole canyon, jeez. <laughs> Probably caused a lot of chaos down nice below. Oh, okay, that's a cute little place. Cute little village town thingy. Life is strange too. Wolves. I mean, it's very fitting for a final name, honestly, considering that's the whole theming of it, of how they kind of tell the story. Or at least the, uh, the recap. What the heck? Just, that reminds me of like Spencer Shea from like iCarly so building random contraptions. Go for it. I have to bring back and the sculptures that just combust. Hmm. Went to town for weekly supplies. Some pancakes left in the kitchen. <laughs> back soon. Hmm. Oh, so it's very communal then. Daniel, you copy? Yes, I read you. Ten four. I have a pancake alert in the kitchen. Repeat. Pancake alert. Whatever. Joanne has waffles. Ooh. Over and out. Ten four. No flying pancakes today. Yeah, I gotta say, waffles are superior. But Fr French toast trumps them all, honestly. Excuse me, water boy. Did you remember to feed the crops? I never forget. Ask mom. Mm. There's no way I can grow stuff like she can. Maybe in Mexico. <laughs> oh yeah, we can grow a lot of stuff there. Wait, what am I doing? Bring the telescope back to Arthur. But didn't you just leave a note saying that? Ugh, whatever. Oh wait, no, that was the oh, that was the mom. Okay, I completely misinterpreted place, that. I see that Karen really wanted to get away from it all. <coughs> David's trailer. Oh, I know this kind of brand, kind of not really brand, but at least the style. Okay, look. David always wants to help, but he's tough to figure out. Hmm. This part of town oh. is dead this time of year. I should stay around here. Dang. Oh, here we go. There they are. Good morning, Sean. Morning, guys. Hello, fellas. Hey, what's up? Morning, Sean. Join us. Have a seat. Hey, just in time for our special desert brew. Woo. And dust free. Thanks so much. Sean, it's too early to be so late. No kidding. Hey, how was your sleepover in the canyon? Amazing. We watched the sunrise, 
Daniel loved it too. That's my favorite view out here. It's like ancient times, but it never gets old. Unlike us, darling. <laughs> and can you be here long after we're gone? Hmm. Hope you looked up. We did. Thanks for hooking us up. <laughs> Anytime. Even my daughter Becky loves to stargaze when she visits us. That's the only way to get Arthur to camp now. <laughs> Becky is the real astronomer in the family. Wonder where she got this. From her mom, probably. Hmm. Hope you guys get to meet Becky. Does she come visiting often? Not as much as I'd want. Can't really blame her. But you know, well, some parts of the year this place is full of friends and family. Christmas, for example. Hmm. So, why did you come out here? Because we got tired of people's bullshit. Things change. But being gay is still dangerous. Right. The end. Sean, I'm almost 60, and I was a happily married man for 20 years until I came out. I don't blame my family for being in shock, but I didn't think they'd disown me. My other daughters won't even talk to me anymore. Oof. So why stay? After yeah. we got together, we both had serious breakdowns. Then we got the hell out of the Bay Area. For the better. I hear that. I'm just so fucking tired of running. I hope me and Daniel find our own way. You will. People come here to reset their life, become the person they want to be or used to be. You're smart. You'll figure out your next direction. Right, Gramps? Speak for yourself, Grandpa. <laughs> My body might be 59, but I'm 25. <laughs> uh huh. I'll remember that on the next hike. I'm gonna see what Daniel's up to. Thanks for the desert, Brew. I like that. That was a nice little, like, insight. Is that? These two remind me of Claire and Steven. In Aww. a weird, hippie version. <laughs> I mean, it's just also interesting, because, like, when people, like, think of, like, stereotypical gay couples, they'll think of, like, the younger ones. When you, of course, have, like, older ones who've, like, been fighting for a long time for, like, gay rights and everything. You're a little too young to be stalking me, dude. Uh, you... Wait, where is Daniel? I saw them kissing the other day. Kinda weird. You know it's actually normal for people in love to kiss, right? Yeah, yeah. I know. I just mean... They're really cute together. Aww. I hope somebody cares about me like that when I get old. Hey, artist, come by Joanne's place. We're making wild sculptures. Hold up. I'll be over in a minute. Aww. I'm glad I was able to just be like, hey, hey, it's 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 okay, it's okay, it's okay. Movie theater. What? What is this? Dude, remember when you totally fell asleep during that Bollywood flick? Because it was so lame after those cool cartoons. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you missed Priya and Stanley teaching me how to dance. <laughs> no, I didn't. You can't dance, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you're getting called out, Sean. Okay, where? Okay, is he in here? Daniel, just no, where are you? Oh. Before. What's up, Joanne? See for yourself. Man, check this out. Okay, Daniel, let's take a little break. Got it. <laughs> that child is something special. Yeah, I hear this one a lot. Don't worry. Mm, yeah, I bet. <laughs> but you have your own talent, Sean. The drawing and. Guiding I'm him. dead serious. I don't know. It's just doodles and shit. No big yeah. deal. I thought my sculptures were shit too, compared to all the dope stuff that was being done. But every artist is fucking unique, Sean. We all got something to bring to the world. Did 
you always want to be an artist? <clears throat> <laughs> Good grief, no. I tried very hard not to be one. Until I realized it was useless. Listen, if you want to be an artist, you will be. It's not always easy. But in the end, it's pretty fucking cool. Huh. Speaking of, do you mind giving me a hand here? Oh, uh... I don't know if I can. Yes, you can. I just need your input. Okay? Okay. Sure. Why not? Ah, there you go. <laughs> now, go stand over there. Daniel, yeah, let's see. You ready to start again? Oh, yes. Hold on. So, for my next trick, I'd love to see if you can connect these three pieces. I've made a model of oh, the no. other here, but go ahead and be the I'm artist. I'm not puzzles. And we don't need a crane to lift this stuff. <laughs> Daniel can snap these together like block toys. Hell yeah. Let's do this. <clears throat> okay. Got belly and arm and a head. Okay, Daniel. Can you slam dunk the earth ball onto the base? Watch this layup. <laughs> oh, you should totally do like the model, but with the spider on top. Wait, what's the model look like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Belly, arm, then head. Okay, so it's it's easy. Okay, cool. Now, let's throw on that spider. <laughs> Alright. Hmm. Now, let's move Mr. Pancake's head so onto Mr. the pedestal. Pancake. Sweet. There we go. Oh. Oh, we have to like rotate it. Okay, interesting. Um. Hey, can you turn that earth ball around a little bit? You got it. Just like half a turn. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, one more time, I guess. How about working your magic on the ball again? There he goes. Does that work? How do I? Oh, that's gonna correlate with the volleyball. Wait. Huh? Give uh, this one a big spin. Check it out. <laughs> Twist, please. Watch this. Yeah, it looks right. It's close enough. I feel like we're almost done. Almost. Well, I think this is it. Looks good to me. Only if the muse approves. Not what I had in mind, but it's still what? cool. You did a great job, Inan. Well, Sean. Wait, do we get it? Or? I think art might be in your family DNA. There's no escape. I think we're done for the day. Thank you so much for your help. Okay. I. That was fun. I'm kind of confused. Did I, did so I get it right? Or? <laughs> That's what makes her talent. Okay. Wait for Karen to come back. Okay. I bet you would like my part. It, it, it's kind of like this. Mm. Yeah, I've read about it. <laughs> it's a video game, right? Yes. And you can build whatever you want in it. 
Yeah, let's see what else we got. Artwork. Love the energy out here. It's a bee. Everyone building stuff as they please. Cool. Oh, is this a man? Oh wait, I already looked at this. Set up this giant vacuum with binoculars. <coughs> Did I look at it? I don't know. It's so cool that people want to give a second life to their stuff. You don't <clears throat> shit where you sleep, kid. <laughs> okay, David. Thanks for the explanation. <laughs> is David back at all, or...? So where is he? This is such a <coughs> fucking place. <laughs> but that's what's cool about it. No, nothing's over there. Stanley and Arthur are there. Anyway, she's so okay, we got barbecue. Word. These guys are like social directors here. Huh. I still love to party. Leave it to the gays. We stand. Can I not go this way? No. Okay. So we have, we live in like our own little district then? That's interesting. Okay. So what can I do? Oh, am I just supposed to talk to them? That would kind of make sense. No, oh, Joanne's just doing her thing. Where's Daniel? I could get used to that scenery. Where, where did he go? Okay, let's see here. There's power cuts all the time here. But no one's really bothered by it. Hmm. That's interesting. Joanne can throw a total rager out here. <laughs> but without asshole neighbors. <laughs> this place is the only all right, but where is he? It's kind of the important thing. Oh, newspapers, also important to look at. Joanne says she needs all this junk to grow inspiration from. Hmm. Okay. I love how they recycle everything into art, construction, or agriculture here. Hmm. Oh yeah, I forgot about switching the camera shoulder thing. Too bad there's nobody my age here. <laughs> but this is where people come to get old. Yeah, I mean you always get the opportunity to meet people like who are of all ages, so it's just this part of town what? is dead this time of year. Okay, cool. I miss those bus trips with Lila and the guys. What's the story with this one? Hmm. How do I do the walkie talkie? I cannot. I cannot call Daniel, that's frustrating. Nope, I can't go that way. Where do I go then? I guess I'll just go back to our trailer. Karen did help us a lot since she found me and Daniel. Hmm. Better late than never. Hmm. Dude. Daniel told me to search outside. For what? It's nice to play games with Daniel again. <laughs> Karen likes to join us too. Still can't believe she's kept it. Mm. Nice match. <laughs> Daniel will never change. Okay, come on. 
I mean, it's about time for me to end the episode. No, actually, no, we have a long time. Okay. But, like, where... Why are people being loud? I hate that. Um, let's, actually, let's start with the tank. Because I guess we just want to look at everything. Water management is kind of a big thing around here. Okay. Pretty smart. You're never going to run out of sun in the desert. True, true. So for like the one time of year it just decides to rain. D okay. Where do I go? <laughs> okay, do I get go in? Wish or? I could be as cool and as wise as these guys when I get older. Hmm. Life is a journey, blah blah blah, better stay home. <laughs> Fireworks. Ooh. Arthur and Stanley cannot wait for the Fourth of July. Huh. It's a bit risky though, since it's so dry, anything could catch. Oh, the pride flag! Now that's some real patriots. <clears throat> it's pretty nice. Oh, not again. <laughs> it's kind of cute though. Oh. Let's see, talk to them already. I'm just like, what do I do now? Yeah, because Joanne's right there. Did Daniel just like no clip out of reality or something? Like, what happened? I forgot this. Karen and Joanne spent evenings playing and chatting. <laughs> kind of like me and Lila. Back in the day. Okay. Where is he? I swear I'm not trying to be stupid about this. Oh wait, do I want to look? That's cool, at Joanne. Trust me to help build her sculpture. Come on. Do I have to like look up a walkthrough on this? That would be really stupid. Okay, can I look at our Glad to see that artists are allowed to make a mess. Okay. Like, can I wait and then just pass the time? Wait for Karen to come back. Okay, I'm gonna reload from the last checkpoint. Let's see. Oh! Yeah. Where I is he? It. It's a video game, right? Yes. And you can build whatever you want. <laughs> oh, he's up Super there. To the silver runner. Copy. I hit That's why I didn't Super see him. Cool okay. You Will you accept this quest to find my secret treasure? Oh, I never got the treasure. Thing. That's probably why. 104. <laughs> okay. You're on it, I know. If I can find you in a forest, I can find anything. I don't know, dude. I'm yes. kind of... I suck Sean. ass at it. Listen carefully. You must find the two items that will reveal where the treasure is. Deal. So, for the first item is near the place with many wings that cannot fly. That's... that's it. Oh, <laughs> that's... your clue? You can do it. This has wings, but can't fly. We helped Joanne set up this giant vacuum with binoculars, as David calls it. Okay. Love the energy out here. No. With everyone building stuff as they please. Okay. Oh. I don't want to repeat the clue. Wings. I cannot fly. 
Nintendo does not have wings. Okay. It's probably by Stanley stuff. Stanley and Arthur's. What? Say the birdhouse? I thought there was only vulture. No, it's not Kaiser. Not too far. Now you're totally frozen. Bruh. Sand drawing. Okay. okay. Okay, actually, fine. Let's hear the clue again. Yo, can you give me that last hint? Are you serious? The item is under the building that will blow you down. What? You're lost, Sean. Okay. Hey, what's up? Um, I was just wondering if you saw Daniel hide something around here. Our lips are sealed. For now. Ah. Okay, wood bear. You're warming up. <laughs> you think they picked this up at the gas station? I hope not. It's too cute. <laughs> Looks like Brody, the bear. Aww. I wonder where he's at now. He could write our whole story. True, true. Uh, it's fun. It's close, Sean. Oh, oh, here we go. You're here. There we go. Took me long enough. Boy, matey, I found a map of a way. Yeah. Woo! Don't lose it because you'll need it to match up with the other part. <laughs> Got it. Now, arr, for the second item, you'll need to find something that eats the sun. Uh -huh. The moon? Sure. Wings, but doesn't. F oh, like the fan. Oh, okay. Drawing. Oh, it's Captain, Captain Spirit. Spirit drawing. Was awesome. <laughs> Thanks. Hmm. <laughs> Wish I could show it to Chris. Do you mm. think he could visit us down in Puerto Lobos? Yeah. Uh, yep. Let's make it happen. Probably. We'll have people who can come down and visit us, and then, like, like say, like, Karen could come down and visit, and then she could bring, um, <clears throat> Chris down, for instance. This part of town is dead this time of year. Oh yeah. Okay. I should stay around. That here. eats the sun. Wait. Here we go. Oh man, you're right there. Just look around. Boom. <clears throat> okay. So it's like 
It's under one of those cars. Cool. Like, so on the other side of Jillian's Found place. It. Nice. And it's a tracing paper sheet with a red cross. Ahoy, matey! I think I have the whole treasure map. Aye, Captain! <laughs> now you just gotta dig your way to the treasure. Hope you know where to go. <laughs> That's a cool ass map you drew, dude. Thanks. Chris told me everything about treasure hunting. Oh, shoot. Wait. Do I have it right? I think it'd be around here, wouldn't it? Yep. Okay, where is it exactly? Is it like on one of these? Because I would see the pop up. Oh, wait, here we go. Guess people came here with these and never back. Oh, there we go. Ooh, we did it, guys. Ooh. buried <coughs> here. The side quest completed. Yes. I think I have found the hidden treasure. <laughs> yeah. I knew you could do it. I found this under an old trailer. It looks like gold, right? Um, I'm not a prospector, <coughs> but it looks like the real deal. Victory! <coughs> Come on! That's our Fortnite dance. Fortnite, Fortnite, we love Fortnite! <laughs> yeah! You asked for it. <laughs> nice. Okay. What do we do now? Still wait for Karen. Okay, what do we got? Oh, just that. Cool. Oh, I think you're spotting Mom's truck. Oh, here that. we go. Mm, yes, one hundred percent her. Gotcha. We'll help her out with the groceries. Where is she be? Can we go in then, or? Yes, I can. Karen looks so young and fragile on this picture. Oh, and that's Claire then, I'm guessing, right? Hard times. I don't know, Maggie and Karen, interesting. So are one of her friends. Looks like they all finally found their home. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I see. Oh, that's pretty cute. Oh, that's her, okay, cool. So there's like a large group of people and some that we haven't even met. Oh, Jacob's letter. I'm so glad Jacob and his sister are doing okay. okay. Hola, Sean. Sorry, I did not want to write to you. I did not write to you sooner, but this is the first time I've had a chance to relax after we got out of Haven Point. Thanks to you and your brother. Still can't believe that happened. So bizarre. Sarah Lee and I do miss her parents. We're not really, we're not ready to let them know where we are yet. We'll figure it out later. The money you gave me, I could pay a month's rent in advance for a month, for in advance for a room in a small beach town on the coast. Sarah Lee loves it. She's much better now thanks to the antibiotics. You're doing great. The most important thing to me is my sister, just like your brother. You're lucky to have each other and we, are, and we were blessed when you both came our way. I'm trying to track down our humble to crew. So I'll keep you posted. I don't know if I pronounced it right. I'll keep, I hope everybody is okay after that night on the farm. We all deserve a break and a better future. Please let me know when you make it to the other side. You and Daniel got this. Give her a little hero a big hug. Take care, Jake. Oh, love him. So cute. Aw. Hi, Daniel. <laughs> Looks like da da Daniel. Yeah. Daniel, hope you're good and happy. I feel so much better now. I'm so happy I got to see the ocean for the first time. Even try to surf. I think I could be good at it. I wish you were here so we could go to the beach, even if the water is cold. I love this weather way more than the heat. Please come see us soon. Thanks for being one of my best friends, really. Oh, that's cute. Hot sauce. I do remember Karen would drown her pancakes in her oh. sauce. 
Ugh, gross. Well, that's a choice. One thing Claire and Karen have in common. Their love for pink. Why do you just pick it up that way? Probably oh, so shoot. good at describing painful situations. And seeing the good into it. Somebody saw my mother before this year. I was telling her to leave me the fuck alone that day. I was done with I me. Mean, adopted all the online culture. Next time I saw my mother, she was in a hospice care. Oh, shoot. Well, I cried. Family bullshit. Just wasn't mad. Cool. Families are weird. Yeah. It's true. <coughs> Wait. It's a matter I've seen the best and worst of people everywhere in the world. You tend to have those extremes. Hey, hell. Aw. Oh. This is a hospital. Don't panic. Maybe taking a break. Or prove. That's interesting. We miss you too, Lila. Aww. Always. I know, I'm on my way. Going to that small town for supplies. Hey, what's up? Hey, good morning. <laughs> Howdy, Sean. Oh, so that's David. How was the town trip? I'm thinking, right? <laughs> Hate these trips. Uh, people look at us as if we're aliens. Here come the sand people. <laughs> the deserters have returned with offerings from Das Kapital. Jolie! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed you. Next time, you're coming with us. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Looking good. What's your secret? Defying death on a daily basis. <laughs> and hydrating. Oh, right. Can't forget your goodies. What hey. old ponytail <laughs> they've got in the back. Here. Ah, uh, you're the man, Karen. Catch you later. Take care. Hey, so how did you guys like your night in the canyon? <sighs> it was amazing. So many stars. It's so quiet. Good call, Karen. I knew you'd like it. Stargazer. Glad you got to see that. Hi, Mom. Oh. How was the town? Town life always. Sooner or later, he's gonna be told the dinner. But we got something for you. Think fast. Whoa! Yes. Thanks, David. <laughs> you wanna play catch, Danny boy? Totally. Me and Dad always used to play, but I'm way better now. No matter what he's been through. He just wants to be a kid and play. Yep, Daniel hasn't been like this in forever. You've all been a good influence on him. About time you boys went camping. Hope Daniel didn't get scared by all the critters. <laughs> yeah, not anymore. He's seen a lot worse. And that made him tougher. And he can defend himself. You're right. And he does like to show off. Maybe too much. <laughs> you boys have been here over a month. And I still can't get over Daniel's <sighs> skills. Me neither. But I never figured it out, so I don't try anymore. Well, take it from an old soldier. But you trained him well. He's a good kid. <sighs> Thanks. I tried my best. I guess it's reassuring. But what do I know? Never met someone with a superpower before. <laughs> I try and be a good influence. Well, technically, that's a lie, <laughs> according to the brothers. first game, but. I don't know if I did right. Guess you never really know. Listen, raising a kid is the toughest job in the world. Trust me, combat was easier. <laughs> uh. uh I mean... Oh. You didn't tell me you were married. I uh, used to be. She died a few years ago. Mm. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's life. <sighs> but at least I got an angry stepdaughter in the deal. <laughs> we were like oil and water. And she was always starting shit. Guess that's hard for a kid to get a new father. Especially one like me. I just had no clue how to deal with her. Wish I did. But we eventually 
made our peace. Anyway, we can't go back. Nope. Thanks for talking, David. Better mm. start my delivery now. Yeah, because if you guys don't know, David next. here is from the first game. Arthur's he was the freak. stepfather <laughs> of the protagonist's best friend. Catch you later, Sean. <sighs> okay, time out. Oh my God. I'm gonna melt. That was awesome, Mom. Now I know why they don't play baseball in the desert. Yeah. It's way better than Sean. It's like well over yeah. the hundreds in the We're desert. We're not done out here yet. Let's get this food inside before it melts. No problem. Plus, not to mention they're probably in the spring, maybe summer even, which if it's in the summer, it's probably she is so insanely cool. hot there. <laughs> Joanne is so cool. Stanley's so cool. The heat is so cool. <laughs> You're way too easy, bro. Whatever. Can't help Why you if I am like I? <laughs> just be you and I know. I'm just saying. I'm not touching anything right now. Don't get too cozy here. This is a. That is stuff. weird. I know. Okay. I guess I just have to roll with this camera angle then. Okay. That's so. Okay. Come on. Okay. Now I don't have to control it anymore, so it's not gonna do anything weird. Oh, pff. no! Like I'm not pressing anything. Okay, there we go. So bizarre. That's smart that everybody takes turns shopping. Huh. Oh. Condoms. Ha! <laughs> Funny. Maybe frozen chocolate crisps, of course. Hope my crops will make it. Let's see <clears throat> the rest of it. Well, actually, no. We kind of got the glimpse of what statue. happened with Brody. It's interesting. That woman is amazing. Do do we apply it? No. no. Let's not look at the bra, dude. Come on. This is such a weird fucking place. Like hundred degrees. <coughs> so good to have a home. Our bad. Again. Is he sure? Oh, yeah, Cassidy yeah. wrote. Let's go. Didn't realize how much I miss Cassidy's voice. <laughs> Hola, sexy boy. No more city boy. Jay cooked me up with your P.O. box, so now you can't hide from your old Dude. crew anymore. I know you took off from the hospital. I'm glad you're still running, still going down to Mexico. We've all been fugitives on the run, but you and Daniel are the kings of the road. Hope you finally get back home. Of course, I'm not ready to settle yet, so we're all hanging out in Cal Colorado. The idea is trying to get as far away from the west coast as possible. Too many ghosts for now. Hard to believe Finn isn't here to start shit and we don't miss him for that. But he'll get a few more songs out of me. Wait. Oh, you don't miss him for that. Dang. Bad blood. I mean, he was he was an asshole. And I like to shit on him a lot, honestly. But I really liked him. He was he was a cool guy, kind of. He'd get a few more songs out of me. We all want to remember him for his angels, not his demons. <clears throat> That's fair. Oh, we don't miss oh him for that, like in particular. Okay, so we're just saying we don't Yeah, okay. I miss you. I would love to take a road trip out of the shithole. Sh it would be good to swim with you. Yeah, so better let me know when you hit when you hit Mexico, Sean. Don't make me track you down here. I'll give you my number so no excuses. Damn okay. That's really amazing though. Already read Jacob's letter. That's a poem. Karen must have been so excited to finally fly by night, book. not by fright, into the big city bright. Stop. And that cliche never ending, never dying in the steel, the buildings, the warp of the street. But no matter what or where I spin, the pull of a million dead poets takes me to dance once again. Go. This time I get to lead until the next flight. That's good. That's good. <clears throat> I have to admit, I do miss that Pacific Northwest weather. Ah, sometimes it's so yeah, iconic, honestly. Love getting it's rain like seventy percent of the what year. What do you think of our little oasis? <laughs> I 
Everybody's very cool and way different. Can't even believe nobody's freaking out about Daniel's power. Well, Sean, it's still hard for me to wrap my head around it. But people here are not gonna get in your space. They have their own past, too. That's why people come here from all over the country for their own reasons. Not perfect, but it works. Hmm. Eh, yeah, not really. I mean, technically outcast, but eh, so what? It is so peaceful out here. <laughs> Guess that's what everybody's really looking for. Peace. You're probably right. Yes, I still feel like we're really privileged out here. There's bad shit going on in this desert. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you can ever really get away from everything. You can't escape reality. Even here. We just live slightly apart from it. True. So... How did you end up here? <laughs> this place is not on the map. Like most of us, I was first brought here by someone. Maggie. Hmm. After I failed to make it in New York, I was lucky enough to meet her down in Florida. She's had a tough life. This place was her getaway. She's long gone now, but her name is still written all over this place. <laughs> well, thanks for bringing us here. Oh, Sean. I'm glad I was able to help you. <laughs> By the way, can you grab your brother so we can all talk? Is mm. everything okay? Uh, yeah, I just thought we could spend this day together. Just the three of us. Hmm. She seemed a little nervous about it, though. Big brother to Super Wolf? We need you at Karen's trailer. Copy? Sure. I mean, 10 4. <laughs> Hola, compadre. <laughs> How about a trek around the canyon today? You in? Totally. Let's pack then. All right. Woo woo. Pretty hype. I mean, it's pretty chill, honestly. I'm just <laughs> not not the most hypest of things, you know. Just just more so a chill vibe, honestly. I should have camped near that little creek. It was so perfect. Nah, you'll need a good night's sleep after all this. And the car's just half a mile down the path. This place makes for a pretty cool bedroom, though. Man. I'm beat. Oh, sorry. Just got one last thing to show you guys. I can't get enough of this place. <sighs> Come on, Daniel. Give me your hand. <sighs> Ooh. Slow down, Spoopy more. out here. You walk too fast. More walk, less talk. Then you'll pass me up. Guys, check this out. Now this is nature's art. Ooh. It's so big and pretty. And so quiet. Except for the birds of prey. Shh. Listen, serious? If we're lucky, yeah. Uh oh! I hear a wolf. Right, right. Better be careful of hunters out here. No hunter can catch Super Wolf. Not even you. <laughs> you must hide all the time. Mom. There's not a lot to do, but geez, this is pretty me. steep, honestly. Good thing Joanne likes to come with me. Oh, I bet she would be fun to go hiking with. 
Well, not when I go too fast. Mm -hmm. She's all about the journey. We usually find a good pace. Yeah, it's just nice to go slow sometimes. Joanne is like going the nice room. They make nice art walk. so they stop to look at stuff. <laughs> You're way more like you. Fast. Yeah, <laughs> I am like you, Daniel. So let's hurry up. Yeah, I kind of wonder what Daniel's going to be like when he grows up, you know, because he's like, he has his powers and everything, but like, what kind of job would that really entail? Depends on what he wants to do if he actually wants to reveal it to the world or I'd like what. I'd love to come here to get away from. <laughs> away. I bet. It's the best spot. Let's sit down. So, hey, I do appreciate that you guys stuck around this long. Thank you. It was good to get to know you better. Yeah. See your life. This place is pretty cool. It's like Fairy Road, but nicer. <laughs> I got to learn about living in a desert, hiking canyons, oh, it's size just turned red counting for a stars. There. You're a natural-born explorer. It's hard to believe you two are actually out here with me. I was lucky we had this chance. Just know I love both of you so much. And I'm proud of who you are. And where you're going. By the way... It, it would probably be good to have her, honestly. If you wanted to, you could come with us. To Mexico. That would be cool. I would love to come see you settled into a new home. You're almost there. But... I have to be upfront with both of you. What happened in Haven Point is catching up on us. Huh? What do you mean? When we were in town, uh, we saw some stories in the papers. The feds are definitely tracking us down in the region. Shit. And they'll find us. Well... Figures. Phew. This couldn't last forever. So... This is it? See you, Nana. We'll leave tomorrow. Can you hand me that mm. bag, Sean? That's why I brought you back here. I made these for the 4th of July, but this is better. Oh! I Ooh. love those things! Hey, what is it? Whoa, awesome! Cool. Oh, it's Let's um the sky. like the thing from Tangled. <laughs> I don't I don't know what they're called, just lamp lights, something like that. They're really cool though, like really pretty. Oh. Oh, that is really awesome. Yeah, just be careful so you don't set the whole canyon on fire. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, you can't really catch too much stuff on fire because it's like most of it is just ground and rock.
All right. So we we do leave then. Wait. Oh shoot! I should probably wait. Wait. Um, what time are we at? Minute sixteen. Okay. We can probably end it off here. Yeah, let's do that. All right. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Um. Shoot. <laughs> I don't know. Like, comment, subscribe. Blah blah blah. Um. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, which will probably be the finale, honestly. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. So, see you guys later. Bye!